Following a stressful week in Formula 1, which began with the discovery that Sebastian Vettel would be retiring, the rocks have begun to fall one after the other. Fernando Alonso's switch from Alpine to Aston Martin is one of the most prominent examples. It came as a complete shock and was not anticipated at all, especially when one considers the fact that the Austrian driver had been working for a number of years on a project that was only beginning to show its first sports rewards and that, as far as anyone could tell, was going to keep growing at an exponential rate for the following season as well. But now that he's left, we won't be able to find out who was the most valuable member of the squad. In the midst of the growing drama, though, Otmar Schaffnauer makes a dig at Alonso. Let us investigate why. Almost immediately after that, Fernando Alonso and Aston Martin made the announcement that he would be joining the British team. This meant that Alpine had a seat available, and many people anticipated that Oscar Piastri would be the one to fill it. However, Piastri responded to Alpine's tweet by declaring that he will not be driving for Alpine next year, contradicting Alpine's claim. Alpine team head Otmar Schaffnauer has doubled down on his attitude against Fernando Alonso and Oscar Piastri after one decided to leave the squad while the other is seeking to follow suit. The fact that Schaffnauer found out about Alonso's departure from Aston Martin barely a week ago through the company's press release led him to speculate that his driver is not fully trustworthy as a person. In an interview with El Confidencial, Otmar Schaffnauer, team principal of Alpine, revealed his opinions on Alonso's resignation from the French team. In an interview with El Confidencial, he stated, I believe that I'm a man of integrity and that if I commit to something, I will do everything in my power to make it happen. I keep my word. It's the way I've grown up that my father passed on to me, but hey, I've understood that not everyone does things the same way." Schaffnauer took Alonso's age into consideration while making his decision on whether or not to offer him a new agreement, and he revealed that he gave Alonso a two-year term with an option at the end of the first year of the contract. According to reports, Alonso's switch to Aston Martin was precipitated by a dispute with the team he was driving for at the time. It was said that the team had presented him with a deal that was less than satisfactory to him. His agreement with Aston Martin is for a number of years, and it includes a clause that allows both parties to evaluate the nature of their working relationship at the end of each racing season. Schaffnauer has stated that, in his opinion, one of the most important things that could have been done for Alonso was the extension of the contract. He confessed that the proposal that was presented to him by Alpine was a two-year contract, although it was one plus one. Schaffnauer proceeded by adding that Alpine made an offer to Alonso that was more money than they pay him now and that ultimately they reached an agreement. Another rumor is that Fernando Alonso fell in love with Aston Martin F1 due to a huge check that was utilized by team owner Lawrence Stroll. Since I'm being really honest here, I have no idea how much they will pay him at Aston Martin. Otmar Schaffnauer responded with, I have no idea. What I do know is that at one point, we provided him with a larger sum of money than we are currently paying him. This makes perfect sense. He started with negotiations, just like everyone else. That was the whole sum that we had been debating, but in the end, we were able to reach a settlement. But I can't say for sure. Just now, I overheard whispers that they made a very generous offer to him. I can't say for certain whether or not that was a determining factor, just ask him. After declaring that Piastri would take over for Alonso in 2023, Alpine's week took a turn for the worst when Alonso himself announced that he would no longer be driving for the company hours after the announcement. The next year, Alonso will race alongside Lance Stroll, but the Alpine driver position is still up for grabs. As a result of Piastri's denial of Alpine's statement and the fact that he apparently is in discussions with McLaren, there are a wide variety of candidates to choose from in order to fill the position of Esteban Ocon's partner in 2023. Otmar Schaffnauer has made it public knowledge that Alpine has about 14 potential candidates that are prepared to compete for the second seat in Alpine's Formula One team for the 2023 season. When asked whether the team would be interested in other drivers, the team had responded, Yes, we are fourth. Ocon is a good teammate, a good competitor. We have plans to do better than fourth. We have our own power source, and we own our facilities, and we can alternate between the development of the chassis and the engine to make the fastest car. Otmar Schaffnauer feels that the seat at Alpine is the only competitive seat that is still available for the 2023 Formula One season. Alpine has made it very obvious that Oscar Piastri will still be a part of their 2023 plans. However, the company also possesses three other drivers who have the capability of potentially filling in for the Australian if things do not go according to plan. Piastri is presently working for Alpine as a test and reserve driver, but he has plans to further shake up the 2023 driver lineup by joining McLaren. 
McLaren has already informed Daniel Ricciardo that he would no longer be necessary for the team. Schaffnauer, on the other hand, is not backing down from his position, maintaining that this is not final yet and it has yet to be decided. He stated that we have provided him with assistance. It is only right that we show some degree of commitment to the fact that we have literally spent millions upon millions of euros in order to prepare him. Therefore, I don't get it either, so you should question him about it as well. Alpine team president Otmar Schaffnauer believes that Alpine will be able to maintain its lead over Aston Martin in the upcoming season, despite the fact that Fernando Alonso has decided to switch allegiances to another team in 2023. This entire story is likely to go on even further over the break for the summer. And who knows, it may even continue on when Formula One returns to the track on the 26th of August. A lot has been written about the mess that Alpine has found itself in, and considering all that has transpired, this whole situation is going to drag on even longer. Both sides are convinced that they're in the right from a legal standpoint, and it will be quite interesting to observe what strategy Alpine employs in order to solve the issue. What do you think of Alpine boss's dig at Alonso? Tell us in the comments section. Well, that's it from this video. We sincerely hope that you liked seeing this video. Please subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more of the stuff that we produce. We are overjoyed that you're able to be with us today, and we would love the chance to do so again in the coming days. Bye-bye.